Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing something that I love to do and I've done it numerous times in the past and that is to review a new product that is being introduced to the marketplace. Um, I do a lot of reviews on the channel uh, of different products, mainly display tablets, tablets, uh, drawing devices, peripherals and items that you would possibly shop for or utilize in an art studio. I am, of course, an illustrator and toy designer, so I wanna make sure and always lean towards the drawing aspect of the channel. And uh, the wonderful people over at XB Pen, whom I have had a relationship with reviewing their products now for over two and a half years. And uh, previous to that, uh, I owned uh, a couple XB Pen products, but through the relationship, I have had the opportunity to review a lot of their tablets. And XB Pen is one of those companies that is evolving, right? You look in the marketplace and you see different companies that are evolving. Some are status quo, which means they're just meeting the uh, status to make the dollars. And uh, other companies are innovating. <clears throat> and XP Pen happens to be, be an innovator. You know, they definitely are always pushing the envelope with regards to the drawing tech and also uh, the manufacturing process and keeping the cost down. And that's important because not everybody has the capability of purchasing high-end, high-dollar drawing tablets. And XB Pen has a myriad of different tablets to fit into every single illustrator, artist, graphic designer, 3D sculptor's um, budget. So. Today we're going to be reviewing the Artist Pro 14 Generation 2 and what makes this one different uh, than other tablets is the fact that it has over 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. You know, the industry standard for probably close to eight, nine years has been 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. And I think it's stayed at that particular number because after you breach that number, then it's it's kind of hard to discern that change, right? The, the pressure sensitivity comes into play whenever you have very large brushes and you need that realist, you need that um, that pressure sensitivity uh, number, that algorithm to um, you know to facilitate the large brush uh, area. And uh, you know some of them, some of the companies just haven't wanted to breach. It's like they keep in the corner of their eye, they're watching the other companies and they're like, All right, do we need to go ahead and go up another 500 or 5,000 or 2,000 or whatever pressure sensitivity levels and then market that? And and who knows, it might not even be uh, capable with other companies. But XB Pen breached that industry standard of 8,192 and now they're over 16,000, which is spectacular. Um, you know, utilizing they first came out with their with their drawing uh, pen that had the uh, the chip in it, the X2, and now we're up to the X3 Pro chip, and that is something that I think also needs to be noted because the sensitivity of the pen and the activation um, and the latency uh, all are factored in to give you an experience that is very similar to drawing on paper. The Artist Pro 14 Gen 2 um, is one of those tablets, you know, I, I call them quote unquote experiments and to see if there's going to be a, um, you know, a need or a pull for that particular product. Uh, back whenever they created, I believe it was a 16 Pro um, tablet that had 4K and they were saying, okay, is there a, a desire uh, of our customer that wants to buy the 4K tablet and maybe we'll inject that into the 22 or the 24. And the same thing happens with this particular device. So the Artist Pro 14, here's the packaging. We're gonna get into the unboxing in just a moment. Um, is one of those products that I think uh, at that particular price point, which is about 380, $390, you get uh, 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. You get basically a 2K screen. Um, you get bonded, uh, laminated uh, screen, which is basically the screen bonded to the LCD. And uh, included, which I thought was spectacular, is the Quick Key Remote. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing for you guys. You know how I do unboxings. I'm, I'm very apt to 
observe all the aspects of the unboxing process and all the peripherals and all the items within. Then we're gonna get into uh, a line test. And then after that, we're gonna get right into drawing. Um, I'm very excited for this tablet. I've been waiting a long time. I've known about this tablet for quite a while because again, I've got that relationship with XP Pen and uh, you know, I've done symposiums for them. I've done um, you know expos uh, with them. I've done, gosh, so many things with them and reviewed their tablets. And they're very gracious to send me this uh, as part of the kind of the quid pro quo uh, relationship we have, you know. Um, so I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get started with the Artist Pro 14 Generation 2 Drawing Display Tablet. And here we are. So I love whenever companies put their artwork on their packaging. It is something that, gosh, I, I, I respect, I love because it shows, you know, the respect for the artist. It shows a respect for the craft. And um, XP Pen is one of those companies that literally will, will associate a piece of artwork with a tablet. So it has to do again with, you know, not only the preservation of their baseline uh, consumer, customer, user, but it also has to do with the marketing. So every time you see this image, it's going to coincide with the Artist Pro uh, 14 Generation 2. And they'll have artwork, you know, for other uh, products, whether it's the 24, the 22, any of their, in, any of their, um, uh, uh, tablets, their you know display tablets, along with their drawing tablets, they have a piece of artwork that coincides with it, and XP Pen does it really, really well. Um, overall, the box presentation is very nice. Shrink wrap is very clean, and on the back it shows what you're going to get inside. Um, XP Pen is stepping things up, and I think that is very apparent not only in their products, not only in their innovation, but also in their package design. Right? <clears throat> we have sort of that that in that in our brains we have certain products that really do packaging right you have like your amazon your microsoft you have your apple um all of those you know companies do packaging right they minimize that minimize packaging but also make it very easy to open very easy to use and xp pen is definitely stepping up i'm feeling some of the the, the texture qualities of this paper the the crispness and the color um, you know, the color printing, it's not just a sticker. Uh, this is a decal, um, but I understand why they do stuff like that because you have different, different times when different manufacturing uh, processes happen in the supply chain and, uh, you know, printing the, the sticker and them having control over that literally, um, you know, they can, uh, change this or or maybe it was a little late in the production line so and again it, it shows that xp pen cares <laughs> about that end user <clears throat> whenever they do stuff like that so product 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 i am at my very core in my professional uh career i'm a product designer so i look at something like this with the matte sheen um, matte being not glossy and then you have little elements like this over the right hand side that have a glossy print that make it stand out and have contrast again I love that so let's go ahead we're gonna open it and I always like to just flip it around because <clears throat> just like they've done before XB pens very good at doing this um, they put a uh, it's not styrofoam it's like a uh, poly something styrene not styrene but it's like a cushion so that on the <clears throat> excuse me on the underside of the uh, of the box again shows attention to detail right off the bat they're going right into it here's the display tablet it's wrapped in a beautiful easy to open bag and it shows you their customer service so they want to indicate hey if you have any issues with the unboxing process, or if you have any issues overall, we are here from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it, this is a little character. This little character's name is Phoenix. I think it's great when a company, again, when a company respects the baseline user and they've got a little character that kind of coincides with their product line. And he's a cute little fox, so I like him a lot. Clever. Clever as a fox. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Very nice. We're gonna remove the plastic here. 
my apologies for that sound. That is not a sound that I enjoy. So we're going to slide this out directly out of its home. And this is exactly what you would do. One of the details on my channel, as opposed to other channels, is I want to make sure and go through each process and explain my experience in pretty much every aspect. So not only from opening the box, but also opening the peripheral items, examining the tablet, seeing if there's any details, maybe bubbles, if that's an applied screen protector, which I don't think it is. Um, and understanding that whenever you get this product in that it should be very similar in experience to what I'm going to experience because I did not unbox this previously some you know some youtubers do but I want to make sure that I get the same experience that you do so you can understand whenever you buy this product if there's any issues that either it's going to be outside the norm or it's going to be what I experience so overall the tablet is fan Fantastic. This is the XP Pen Artist Pro 14 six, uh, second generation, so generation two. There's previous generations obviously to this, but this is their flagship. I call now one of the things that I explain whenever I do whenever I do unboxings, especially as it pertains to the product itself, is a lot of times companies will experiment, right, in quotations but they don't want to do it on a grand scale that is so expensive that your average user doesn't want to spend the money to experience the experiment, if, if that makes sense. So this particular tablet in this current configuration has 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Guys, that is an industry first. XP Pen is the first company to have 16K pressure sensitivity. And you're like, well, that's not a big deal. Well, actually it is because all the other companies, all of them, from Wacom to Huion to Yugi to uh, SenseLab, they just, SenseLab just came out with a brand new tablet. They all have 8,192. This tablet is the first tablet to have 16K levels of pressure sensitivity. So some of the details on this particular tablet, we're gonna go through, look at the specifications. So. The color of it is black and gray. They, they don't have different color iterations of it just yet. But the presentation is beautiful. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. It is a metal, metal, this is metal on the back. I said metal three times because I'm excited. <laughs> um, then it's got a stand built in. And that is something that I have not seen XP Pen do. Wacom has been doing this for years, but XP Pen um, typically will have an additional case, a stand, something that they include with. If not, you can purchase it for additional cost. But this is really nice. Um, it doesn't have a verse amount, which I don't see a 14 inch having a verse amount that's really small. But these are really nice. They're magnetic. So whenever you push them in, you can hear that very satisfying snap sound. And it's rubberized. So these are, looks like metal hinges, not plastic. So it is composite plastic here, but this is a looks like a metal hinge right there with a metal uh, dowel going on the inside. And then it's got rubber stoppers right here with a rubber stopper right here. So if you wanna lay it flat, you can do that. So let's go ahead and put this to the side. Even though I love looking at it, it's so nice. Okay, put it over here temporarily while we look at the peripheral items. XB Pen again is really good at organize organization of their peripheral items from their pen to their cables to their instruction manual and also the adapters. This is something that they've been doing for a while. Here's the uh, looks like the power supply and this is for looks like for standard United States. However, if you're in an alternate company, they include or if you're traveling, people travel, you know, and go uh, around the globe using their tablets and they include these power adapters that um you know that help in uh that help in really just allowing the user to go in different places without having to purchase the power adapter so it's really cool so you see how i folded that back up this is obviously for uh probably north uh, america and canada and then you fold that in and then that slips in and then you have the power adapter for different uh, companies, or not companies, different countries. So they include three, one, two, 
and three configurations. <clears throat> Let me put that back inside if I can. Yes. Okay, and then we've got looks like an interface cable, USB-C, and then that goes into um, looks like USB three. It's not 3.0. That's black. So um, let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, so you guys know that I'm a huge fan of not only XP Pen, I don't want to say I'm a fanboy, but I guess I am. Um, because XP Pen is always they're always kind of pushing the envelope, they're doing things a little bit different, you know. That's what it says, you know, not only think different, but um, dream brave true that's their moniker. So then they include, uh, as an added bonus, this little gem jewel uh, of a product. And this, believe it or not, is a quick key remote. So I, I love it when they do this. This quick key remote is the next generation of this quick key remote. So I've had this quick key remote for probably, I would say maybe six years, maybe seven years, maybe longer. I love this product because it's dongle. It's dongle operated, and it, you know you install the battery, little uh, AAA battery. It lasts about a year, and you can transfer this among machines. And it's a great companion for something like a Surface Pro, um, Dell, uh, you know, whatever product has a USB port um, or USB C. You can get an adapter for it. And I've used this remote so much as a companion for Quick Keys. So whenever I'm drawing on my tablet, this is a great companion for that. What's really nice is they included the update. So here's the update. Um, very chic, very sheen looking, very awesome. And it is rechargeable. Looks like it's rechargeable because there's no battery port. And it looks like this is the cable for you to charge said remote. So that's really cool. It's got the, the scroll wheel and programmable based upon your program. We'll get into this whenever we set everything up. So in the meantime, we're gonna set it to the side. Then we're going to get into a little bit of the documentation. Again, the box is nice, very easy to open. Shows you the all-important warranty card, which um, I have not had to use the warranty on any of my XP Pen products. They've all been wonderful. The only time that I really had a hiccup with one of them was whenever I had to replace the screen protector, and XP Pen offered um, that on their website, so that was really cool. Um, and then I had some driver issues and what's really great about XP Pen is their customer service. I was able to contact, get in contact with an engineer, a person who actually helped design one of the tablets that I was using and he walked me through everything, um, asked me questions and eventually they sent me a, a specific updated driver that, um, that worked for my particular application. So that was really cool and all that was part of the, um, you know, purchase. So here's a little, you know, you can wipe off the screen, all these, of course, the glove, they include the glove. Funny thing is, is you take these for granted now, but back in the day, this particular glove was $29 from the person that, you know, had foresight to create these. And I paid $29 for my first glove. Now they include them with every, every uh, uh, tablet, I believe. Um, Quick key guide for Pro Series, Artist Pro Series Drawing Display Generation 2. So this goes through the prompts, goes through all the things that you need to hook things up, right? You can uh, uh, definitely um, read this at your leisure. And I would definitely recommend you going through and looking at this before you set anything up and start going to town. Me, I have done this quite a bit, so I'm very familiar with a lot of the things that XP Pen does. And we're going to get into installing the driver and, and programming the remote and um, just understanding uh, that dynamic between um, you know you getting a new product, you being very excited, trying to hook things up. Now we're going to be using a PC today, not a Mac, but it's very similar uh, as it applies to the Apple operating system, but we're going to be using Windows 11 today. So here is the additional cables. Okay, put this up here. Okay, USB-C to USB. This looks like a power extension. 
and USB to USB. Now this is an important cable and I want you to understand why because uh, in other applications and other tablets what will happen is they'll include what's called a 3-in-1 cable and the 3-in-1 cable is it's a little bulky and convoluted. They've done things a little bit different with this machine so we're gonna definitely see how these three cables uh, apply because I know some machines, some computers if you use the USB-C, you don't need to apply the additional power brick. Um, and I'd be interested to see how this uh, pans out. Also, you can hook up um, this particular tablet, I believe, to an Android device. And I do have an Android device. Yay! So we're going to be able to do that as well. That's exciting. And then finally, what I love... Oh man, this is awesome. What I love about XB Pen, um, and they do this you know, quite a bit, especially with their medium to higher range uh, tablets, especially lately, is this beautiful metal, oh man, that's Tampo printed, beautiful metal case for the pen. You know, it's funny is most artists will look at this and they'll be like, okay, and then you take it out and you look at it and you're like, wow, a lot of engineering went into this, a lot of thought, a lot of sampling, a lot of just in, you know, back and forth. Um, and uh, this is really done right. They include numerous different nibs, pen nibs, and this looks like a textured paper nib to help emulate paper drawing. So I'm very excited about that. This uses their newest, latest and greatest pen technology. It's got 16,334 levels of pressure sensitivity. Guys, that is incredible. It's 1920 um, by uh, 1200 HD screen, and I'm, I'm, it's got full lamination, and that means basically that the laminated screen on the outside is bonded to the LCD screen, so there's not gonna be any parallax. Parallax also happens, um, you know, that distance between the cursor inside the machine and the tip of your pen. That parallax sometimes happens because of late response due to processor. We're not going to have that issue today because the computer I'm going to be using is extremely fast and um, that will not be an issue. You're seeing a little USB dongle and um, that, of course, is for this. That little dongle right there. Um, plugs in and it's wireless. Now, if you're like, I don't like dongles, I don't like dongles, well, you can always just plug this in and plug the USB into your computer and then you'd have a wired remote. In case something happens and you don't have the ability to charge this or it runs out of batteries, you do always have the option of plugging this into the side of the machine and it will um, it will charge if that's a powered USB. But uh, I don't, I haven't had any issues and I'm anxious to see how long the charge lasts on this. And I'm anxious to see if anything lights up. It looks like that lights up. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens there. But the pen, first of all, very similar to other XP Pen pens, but it's a little bit heavier, just a pinch. The design of it is beautiful. It's got a nice taper. It's got a nice extension of the pen nib, and it's got a nice contrasting uh, uh, barrel uh, ring, which I think is pretty cool. It's got a nice grip, not overly grip. It feels to be made of silicone and a two button, um, a, two, uh, a two button programmable two button button. <laughs> it's a two button button. It's like a, it's like a seesaw. It rotates back and forth. Um, gray, I, I think gray is fine. A lot of the companies go with gray because it is a neutral. I'm just glad it's not cream or, or you know, pink or something like that. Um, it would be nice if they did have different uh, barrel sleeves made of silicone. Maybe I could customize. Um, it is round, so it does probably rotate. But it is flat on one side, so it doesn't look like it's going to rotate too far. And an eraser. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. An eraser. And this, of course, is batteryless. This is technology that uh, has been around a while. And I can remember back in the day whenever pins did have batteries in them, believe it or not. And even some of the current uh, uh, pens from like Microsoft um, and uh, uh, most recently I had an Android tablet um, that I had to use uh, a batteried uh, stylus. And that is something that is, it, it happens, but uh, this uh, XP pen, um, pen is batteryless, which is really cool. So let's go ahead 
and look at some of the specs of the talent. And again, this is like overkill. I mean, I take the pin out, I use it, and all this rest of, rest of the stuff stays in this little wonderfully designed uh, cubby. And it, you can't put it in wrong. So you can see I tried to put it in this side. It won't go in. So you can put it in like this. Slides in. You can hear the click. And it clicks in very nice. And we're going to put this to the side. Okay, so let's put this down. We're going to read some of the specifications. Okay. 16,000... 384 levels of pressure sensitivity, full lamination, 178 degree viewing angle. So, based upon where you're at, let's go ahead and grab the tablet. It's not hooked up just yet, but we're going to go ahead and extend the stand. Okay. So, based upon where you're at, so right now I'm kind of at a zero. Now, if I go over here and I view it from this angle, it's not going to have a distortion. So 178 degrees, right? 360 is a few full circle. 180 degrees is right level. So I could be over here in view and I wouldn't have any distortion. That is important because a lot of times <laughs> if you're off to the side, it's going to skew that color gamut and it's going to skew the definition. And that doesn't happen with this. Um, co <clears throat> color gamut uh, coverage ratio is 99% RGB. 85% Adobe RGB, and um, it's this color gamut area ratio, 123 RGB and 91% um, Adobe RGB. Again, those are things that a lot of people are concerned about. Me, not so much. I just match the color to my other monitor, uh, typically, and everything's good. So, if I were to come onto their website, first of all, it shows you all the features of what it's capable of flexible dual ports. It's got flexible dual ports, dual reversible ports can be connected to PC either way, up or down. Um, full featured USB, which has to do with data and uh, power. Okay, ditch to clutter, be connected. One click display, which is awesome. One display, infinite possibilities, beautiful pin case, great stand included. All these things are something that you will experience when you buy this tablet. Um, designed to fit your grip, so it's ergonomic. And let me tell you something. I've had great pins, I've had okay pins, and I've had really bad pins. I have not had a bad pin from XP Pen just yet. Um, I have had to buy uh, XP Pen pins because I've dropped them numerous times because I'm clumsy. And uh, unfortunately, after about the 10th or 20th drop, from a distance of about three to five feet. Um, if it hits just right, the XP pin, um, especially uh, some of the older pins, just didn't fare as well as I would have liked. They're about 15 to 20 bucks, it's not a big deal. But this one seems to be a much higher quality um, uh, pin. So here we go, low blue light, easy for eyes. If you don't currently wear um, glasses for blue light, the light from the screen will tire your eyes out. This is included with this particular tablet. So you have the um, optimization of eye comfort by reducing potentially harmful blue light emissions while you're drawing. So your eyes won't get as tired. It's fully laminated, um, you know, wider for creation. Now, 14 inch is about the smallest that I'd ever want to go uh, for uh, a desktop tablet. 14 is not big. I typically draw on a 24 uh, inch tablet. So um, we're going to definitely get into this uh, really soon. So accept those. So let's say I'm going to buy now. Okay, let's see what the retail is on this. Currently it's for $377.99. A 16,000 level pressure sensitivity tablet. And this is for sale on their website. So you're getting about 30, about 10% off in the early bird uh, uh, deal. Even at 419, this is going to be a steal. Just a great, I mean, you get a remote with it. Let's be honest, you're getting a remote and a tablet with 16,000 levels of sensitivity. You're getting full HD, you're getting laminated screen, you're getting great color gamut, you're getting ergonomic, you're getting a stand with it, all for $377 uh, currently. So, enough yapping. Let's go ahead and install the driver and get started drawing on the XP Pen Artist. Pro 14 Generation 2. 
And here we have it set up. So as you can see, I've got it at a little bit different angle than what the stand that it comes with um, has. And that's because I like the angle of my particular device a little bit steeper than your average Joe. So actually I like it a little bit steeper than what I have it right here. So I like it facing me that way I don't have to bend over and hunch over too much. And I like this angle because everything is really easily um, you know, within reach. So I am using the lovely XP Pen Quick Key Remote, and it is um, via dongle. So I've got the dongle inserted into my uh, host machine, and this is uh, being operated via Bluetooth, and it sits over here on the left-hand side. You won't see too much of that in action. So we're gonna be working in Photoshop today, and let's go ahead and do new. We're gonna do a line test really quick. 14 by 10, uh, let's, let's do 15 by height, 20. Okay, so 15 by 20, and the I like working on a, on a toned background because we are gonna be doing illustration directly after. So here we are. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and add a layer. And we're gonna go to a simple, now the brush that I typically will use is gonna have a texture to it. Now just overall feel and quickness, it's very responsive. As you can see as I go in, let's go ahead and turn pressure on and taper is on as well. It's very responsive, just the pressure curve. I'm not getting any shoelacing either. So any kind of hesitation that you're gonna see will probably be because of computer and brush size. And any blinking you see is also an anomaly caused by the uh, Photoshop and Windows interface. I don't have that blinking issue if I go to full screen or if I'm on my Mac. So pressure curve is exquisite. I'm not seeing, I'm, I mean, basically whenever you look, so we're gonna go really light pressure. The response is probably something I have not seen in any other device. I'm literally, I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm setting the pin and I'm just barely feathering in. So you can see those 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity really, I'm not seeing like that sudden go in it's just so nice and it tapers off really nice. We're gonna go taper off. I have never seen a pressure curve like this. Um, most of the time, whenever you get to this area right here, they'll completely drop off and you won't see anything. And whenever you do like a straight line test, you'll see a sudden, like it'll be here and then it'll do like that. So this particular machine, this tablet is wonderful. Pressure curve is as natural as I have ever seen on any other tablet. Um, actually, I've never seen it on any other tablet. So it's just got a natural feel to it. So let's go ahead and add a layer. We're gonna come back and we're gonna do a straight line test because you know, people like that. So I've got my trusty ruler right here. And I'm not gonna use a textured brush because a textured brush, if I'm going, it will have natural wave to the line. So let's go to the general brushes. Those are the brushes that came with Photoshop. And we're gonna hit hard round pressure size. So you can see, again, we're gonna go ahead and just go almost to nothing. So you can see, and I'm gonna zoom in on this, and this is important to note. Look at this. That value change from dark, like right here. So full saturation, come here, and I started pulling back, pulling back, and then I pulled back again here, and pulled back here, and then whenever I went all the way down to here, I mean, the pressure curve is, I've never seen anything like it. Right? And I've been, guys, I've been doing this quite a while. <laughs> and I'm, I was, whenever I first started working on this, um, I was, I was kind of floored, to be honest with you. Uh, floored meaning I was kind of taken aback at the uh, accuracy of the pressure curve. Now, 
So let's go ahead and we'll go back and let's do the line test. So this is unassisted line test. So me just trying to draw a straight line. I'm not getting any really discernible wave. Anything that's happening is because my hand. Okay, then we're gonna go horizontal, whoops. Again, let's go really slow. You know, it's funny is most of the time on machines, you'll get, you'll get hills and valleys. So like on any Microsoft or Intrig machine, it'll be like this. And I'm doing this by the way, you'll get these uh, hills and valleys um, and it'll be very mechanical. This has an organic feel to it. It's, it's almost, it's really hard to describe. It's like the slower I get, the straighter the line is, which is complete opposite of what I experience on quite a few of the other higher end tablets. Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna use L ruler. This is the golden rule, of course, the golden rule. We all know what the golden rule is. Okay. Okay, we're getting, now I do have pressure on, so if I turn pressure off, which is probably a better representation, that line is as straight as I've ever seen. Okay, we're gonna go, whoops, that's not fair to you. So I get to draw my left hand now. So let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. Make it a clean slate here. Just so you guys can see. Because line tests are important, I get it, right? It is a measurement of a tablet's capability in the digitizer. So we're gonna draw with my left hand, which I am right-handed, so. Okay, actually I, I moved the ruler a little bit. Let's go back. Wonderful, wonderful. Now we're gonna do the diagonal. Okay. My watch is telling me that I can still do it. You can still do it. Dude, I exercised for an hour today. I can still do it. Yeah, you need to do it. So again, great representation of the capability of the XP pen technology. Um, I never really had any problems with XP pen technology, to be honest with you. I currently utilize a 24 inch uh, 2K, uh, 2.5K, 2K? 2K tablet. Um, and I reviewed that on this channel a while back. And I have used that particular device in my professional uh, studio for two years, two years now. And it has been a phenomenal piece of hardware. Um, XP Pen, again, is one of those companies that really is striving towards being a leader and innovator. This is, of course, uh, Phoenix, uh, one of the illustrations that I did for the Anywhere Door um, promotion they did a while back. And as far as their, their uh, driver goes, XP Pen has really stepped it up. Now, they, uh, it, for those of you who are not aware, XP Pen is part of a consortium uh, owned by a parent company called Yugi, and Yugi owns XP Pen. They also own Sense Lab. So you're seeing some of those similar um, visual cues with regards to the, um, you know, with regards to the driver. So what's again really great is you can go in and customize the remote. You can also go in and customize the pen display, 
the proportion, the identity. If you have multiple displays, you can calibrate your screen if your pen is off, which by the way, mine was pretty much spot on whenever I got it. But so if it does get off, like if you drop the pen or if you reinstall the driver, you can go to this little calibration button inside of the driver window. You click it, it brings up the calibration tool and you click each corresponding hash mark here and it realigns the cursor to your pin. Go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so what am I doing today? It's important to note that on my channel, I will do the unboxing, I will do the driver overview, I will do the driver installation, and I will do the line test. In addition, and this is very important, and this is what is gonna set uh, your mind at ease whenever it comes to purchasing one of these products, I install it like you would, right? I've got it how I want it. I've installed the uh, cable via into my PC, and I'm gonna actually use the device as it's been designed. Some people will not sit down and show you the actual drawing process. I wanna make sure that you understand and know that this particular product is at a level that you can feel safe in putting your hard-earned money down. Um, so what I'm gonna do, and this is something that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna to continue doing my channel. So if you like this format, definitely stick around because typically my reviews are about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour long. And what I do is I draw something. I actually use it as design. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna draw a dinosaur. Um, I love drawing dinosaurs. I've done stuff for Universal Studios and Amblin Entertainment. I've done stuff for Jurassic Park, um, you know, collectibles and, and some other uh, uh, advertising assets. So I'm gonna draw a dinosaur today. So. Sit back, relax, and uh, I'm probably gonna get the initial sketch done. That'll take about 15 to 20 minutes of actual time drawing. And then we're gonna get into some time lapse because let's be honest, these drawings take a long time. And I don't think you wanna sit here for two hours while I draw a dinosaur, right? But initial, so you're seeing me develop the shape language as it pertains to the pose that I want, but you're seeing a very light sketch. That's what the power of the XP Pen 14 inch Pro Generation 2, you're seeing the wonderful, um, let's go ahead and transfer this down a little bit, a little big. The wonderful sketching capability and you're not seeing that delay sometimes in some some uh some devices you know some companies you'll see uh, a delay and you're not seeing that with this particular device and again that has to do with that technology that activation of the uh you know the pen on the screen so what i'm doing right now is again i'm just this is an initial sketch. Let's go ahead and bring this up further. So I'm probably gonna have to <laughs> finagle stuff. I spoke a little bit too soon. So whenever I start on this sketch, I, I have things in my mind's eye and I get to talking and I'm like, blah, 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 technology crap. I messed up my drawing. So that's what we're basically gonna do. We're gonna start creating the roadmap. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the drawing process, everybody has a different process. And mine happens to be utilizing um, shape language and simple shapes to create my forms and basically go through the process of understanding what makes the best sense, the gesture, especially whenever drawing organic shapes, right? You know, you have to think of skeletal structure and all of those other things that go with, you know, drawing something that's familiar to other people, right? One of the things that always, I don't call it upsetting, but it is a little unnerving whenever you have somebody that's a layman that doesn't draw and they look at something and they say, oh, that's wrong. Well, not really, because in the context of art and creation, nothing is quote unquote wrong. <laughs> and you can disagree with me if you want, but art is expression. And sometimes those decisions that are made to exaggerate, to, you know, inflate, to change, you know, proportion, 
then you know that's an artist's expression and that should be um, celebrated. However, whenever you draw something that somebody, you know, again, that somebody recognizes, such as a T-Rex, if I'm going to name it a T-Rex, then yes, I want the proportions to be correct in the context of the drawing. So that takes practice, right? Practice, practice, practice. So what you're seeing me do, and I did this on time lapse because the drawing itself took me about three hours and I did do the entire time lapse. But as you saw, I started out with initial sketch, I refined the sketch, and then I moved on to placing and blocking in color, color block in. It's important to do this um, as per your particular methodology because even though you're seeing me do it my way, that may not be the correct way that you will be able to draw something, right? We all express things differently. We all do things differently, especially in, in the um, digital environment. And I want you to just know that this is just one way that it's done, you know, that I do it. And I do it different pretty much depending on, I mean, this is my personal style. Maybe I'll do something different if I'm working for a corporate entity and they need to modify things. And, you know, if I'm doing things for print um, or for screen printing that needs separations, Everything's going to be different. So, in terms of the drawing process, not process, the drawing experience, how is the Artist Pro 14 Gen 2? First of all, I was floored by the overall feeling of the pen. You know, I've been doing this for quite a while, and, you know, whenever I first picked it up, I was, I was a little disappointed because I started drawing really fast like I normally do, and at the size that I normally do, and I didn't really see a discernible difference. But the second I made the brush bigger and drew slower and just started getting a real feeling for what the tablet is presenting in those over 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, it became something that kind of disappeared into the background. And that's important to note because I always talk about technology being a hindrance in creativity, you know. The, the cursor doesn't work, the pressured curve doesn't work, it's too hard, I'm getting a break in pressure, the screen is blurry, the screen is not bonded, I'm getting just some problems here and there. This tablet disappeared into the background of that creative muscle and I was able to create this image and just had such a good time. The pressure curve, you guys, is so good. It's hard for me to describe because a lot of you, you know, may come from a Wacom background or maybe uh, you're on an iPad or something like that. Now, granted, both of those companies make great products, but whenever I started drawing on this, the, the product itself kind of disappeared and I kind of forgot that I was drawing on a screen. Granted, it's in a digital environment. Granted that it's Photoshop, but whenever I'm using my brushes and I've got my headphones on and I'm in the zone, it disappeared and it became part, this tablet and the pen became part of that creative extension. And it was an experience that it's hard to describe. I mean, those of you who have been in the zone before can understand, but that pressure curve along with the, um, the non-glare screen, along with that activation of the Pentec 3.0, this particular tablet now is my one of my favorite uh, smaller form factor drawing tablets. I'm used to drawing on 24 inch to 22 inch, but this one is so good. I just love it. It was, oh man, just the fact that it has an incredible pressure curve and the light is, as artists, we, we want our tech to work. We want, especially digital artists, we want our technology to be flawless. We want it to work. We want it to be inexpensive. We want it to have a high return versus investment. And all of those variables came to fruition in this experience. I can't speak enough uh, about XP Pen. You know, I, I've spoken with their engineers. I've gone back and forth with their sales associates and their marketing department. I've spoke at length, um, you know, again with uh, the representatives about the products. And they, you know, they're generally interested in their users' feedback. Very rarely do you get a company that is interested in that, right? They just want the green, the dollars. They want, you know, obviously they have to they have to keep perpetuating their business and make money, but it's very refreshing to find a company that really is interested in feedback from their users. Um, the Artist Pro 14 Gen 2 at just around 400 bucks, right? $400, I think is a game changer. You know, this is great for professionals. It's great for students. 
It's great for a hobbyist. You're getting into a level of pressure sensitivity with that bonded screen, that 2K bonded screen that, you know, some of the higher end tablets are charging thousands of dollars for, right? You compare it to some of the other tablets in the marketplace, you know, they only have 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Their screen's not bonded. It doesn't, ha it doesn't come with a quick key remote. This has all of those things along with great customer service, along with a rapport uh, and a community, the XP Pen community is consistently pushing that envelope, um, you know, again, of technology and uh, customer service and, and quality, right? I, I spoke about that in the unboxing. Um, you know, you, you can say whatever you want about me, about the channel. You know, I review, you guys, I review stuff for Microsoft. I've reviewed stuff for Dell, Lenovo, Hewlett Packard. I've reviewed, you know, higher end computers, lower end computers. I've reviewed stuff for, um, you know, Yugi, for Huion, for Wacom, um, all of those companies, right? XP Pen, again, is pushing that envelope. They're experimenting every single year. They're putting out different products at different price points and just really showing you that they're ready to fulfill, um, you know, those, those digital illustration and artistic needs. Um, and that's what I got to say about the new XP Pen uh, Artist Pro 14 Gen 2. So as a display tablet, thumbs up, thumbs up from my channel, thumbs up from me. What a great drawing experience. You know, I look forward to this particular technology being in a larger format. I can't even imagine. Can't, I'm sure that it's on the books. I'm sure that they're going to create something like a 24 inch 16K pressure sensitivity, 4K, all of those things. My goodness, how awesome would it be if they created a tablet? My main work machine is an XP Pen 24 2K Pro, and I love it. I've I've owned it, you know, for going on just over two years, and it's just been a phenomenal piece of of technology. And the more and more I get into understanding who XP Pen uh, is as a company the more and more I look forward to the release of their products and, and who they are. They're going to keep refining. They're going to keep doing things and pushing things uh, further and further. And, low, and, you know, it's funny is every single time they release a product, you're expecting that price point to jump up and be huge. But at the reality is, is they're, they're, not, they're not making those three and $4,000 tablets because they don't need to charge that much you know, to, um, to make a difference, right? So thumbs up to XB Pen. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me review this tablet. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review. It's a little bit longer. I get it. I do things different. I want to make sure you understand all aspects of the tablet process. You know, you spend your dollars, you know, a lot of times you watch like 10 videos before you make a decision. Hopefully this, this video gave you the proper information that you need and you make the decision based upon not only what you see on my channel, but also other channels. Make sure you have a broad stroke and a broad, um, you know, viewpoint because it, it does make, it does make a difference when you spend money on something you want, you want it to last. And, and, and that's what XP Pen does. So thank you guys for visiting the channel. Hopefully you like and subscribe if you like what you see. I know again, this is a little bit longer of a review, but uh, I want to make sure and, and cover it the way that you would do it, right? The way that I think you would unbox things. You would sit down and draw within 15, 20 minutes. And, and you would install the driver. And you would have the hiccups, you know, that, that I experience and, and overcome those things. So thank you guys. And we'll see you next time. All right.